Double exposures look fantastic and they're really easy to make in Photoshop. In this video, we're going to show you how using nothing but layers, blend modes and a few stock photos that you can download by using the links below. Let's dive straight in and get started. Let's open our subject image. Double exposures work best with people, preferably against the light background, but you can combine any images to create this effect. Bring in one of your stock photos and use the screen blend mode. Place it over your image and adjust the positioning. It's about now that we should think about the contrast of the image. Add a curves layer to your picture and adjust the lights and darks of your subject. You've probably used curves as a finishing touch, but by giving your picture a quick tweak at this stage, we're just going to make sure that it's going in the right direction. Now, let's add some more images. Drag another one into your project and place before choosing a blend mode. Screen obviously works really well with double exposures, but you might want to use soft light or multiply. Just experiment and have fun with the picture. Build up the layers and see how it looks when you add elements in different places over the subject. You can use a couple of your images as unifying textures too. Again, the soft light is a useful blend mode for this, as is overlay. A texture at this stage can just unify your image a little. Here's a tip for sharpening too. To create a merged layer at the top of your document, if you're using a Mac, hit Command Opt Shift E and hit Control Alt Shift E on Windows. Go to Filter, Other, High Pass and choose a small radius. We're going to go with four pixels. Now go to overlay. This can really bring out the detail in some of your stock images. Finally, the adjustments can really complete a double exposure. Again, we're going to add a curves layer just to tweak everything a little, add some vibrance and use the hue saturation tool as a final finishing touch. Merge everything into a new layer again and we're going to take the image into camera raw just to polish it off with some subtle slider tweaks. The great thing about creating a double exposure is that they can be as simple or as sophisticated as you like. It's all about your creativity. Remember that our resources for this tutorial are on the file silo, the link's below, and it's free to sign up. You'll be able to download the resources for this, and there's loads more cool stuff on there for you to try on all kinds of Photoshop projects. If you've liked this video, please hit the thumbs up below and click subscribe. Follow Photoshop Creative on Twitter, at pshopcreative, and until next time, thanks for watching.